In the world of competitive Dota, North American players are few and far between, and many have yet to reach their potential. This perception suits evil geniuses just fine. They are used to having a lot to prove. I think uh, just because we are North American, people seem to undermine us because of the past results. So it's actually a good opportunity for our North Americans to just burst into the scene. Following a series of defeats last year, EG placed itself under the expert leadership of longtime veteran Fear. When I joined this team, I hope to learn a lot from Fear and carry on his legacy, I guess, as one of the best carry players in the world. I started out playing in SSD with my captain PBD. We met up with RTC and Universe primarily because they liked how we played. What I brought to the table was a strong support and that was something that most NA teams lacked and maybe the reason why they haven't seen any success. The new squad exploded onto the scene in 2014, claiming victory after victory and an invite to this year's tournament. Then the unthinkable happened. Fear was lost to an injury. None of the doctors really were able to tell me exactly what I had. It's something similar to tennis elbow, and every time I do click for extended periods of time, it does hurt. We couldn't scream that much, we couldn't play that many games. And he had to like ice his arm in between games, and we actually realized it was pretty serious. It's an injury. Following a difficult search, evil geniuses chose Mason to take Fear's place. We found Mason when he was playing with us in like NEL games and stuff like that. He just started ringing when Fear couldn't play for us and he fit the team, so. Fear was the team. Fear's experience really helped them. So when I came on board, things were a little rough at the start, but uh, kind of picked it up. But while Mason is certainly talented, he is relatively inexperienced. It was decided that Fear would stay on as coach to lend his knowledge and experience to the recovering squad. Even though he's not on this team, he still helps us a lot. That's like a good alternative for me because I can still be competitive with the teams as well. The team's biggest obstacle is probably our lack of experience. Mason is inexperienced in lands. That's something I definitely am going to have to adjust to. There's no place like TI that puts on the same pressure. I think it's a, it's a confidence thing. We're, we're definitely confident in him. And I think nerves will kind of work themselves out. Well, winning this year means a lot to me. I don't think it's because no American team has placed before or something like that. It's more because fear isn't playing. I feel like if we don't give it our best shot, then we're kind of doing him an injustice kind of thing. So. The new roster picked up where the old left off, continuing the winning streak and even defeating several teams that they could face at the international. Few teams recover from a loss of a player, but the new EG has proven that it is up to the challenge. Going into CI, I think that we are probably one of the best three teams in the world. We're kind of like the new American generation, I guess. This international will definitely be the year for EG. We just play to win. It's that simple. But can they prove themselves worthy of the Aegis of Champions?